Welcome everyone. This is a general reading for the sign of Pisces for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, or any other planet in the sign of Pisces for October 21st through November 20th. Um, yes, so let's get into the general energy. Um, 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 um. Okay, there's very much, and this is good, a sense of um, getting up and, and a sense of overcoming, right? A sense of overcoming, taking control, and specifically of taking control over some parts of yourself that are n not working for you and maybe could run the chance of taking control, i.e. Um, mental health issues, depression, and that kind of thing specifically. Um, it could have to do also with, with something in your environment, but that's very, very much more so the energy I'm getting, um, that it's an internal thing, right? Um, so, <sighs> take, a, take a breath. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a kind of a power, it's a kind of an overcoming, it's a kind of um, like, a, like a leaving the house even though you don't want to thing, right? Doing things that you need to do even though you don't want to because you really do know that that is what you want and that that is what you need despite the fact that you may not feel like that at the moment, right? You're really um, stepping up, which is cool. Um, there, is, there could be a sense of, of self-imposed sort of isolation. I'm not sensing that it's so much a physical isolation, it's more of like a, an emotional isolation kind of, or a s mental or spiritual isolation, or somehow feeling like even though there may be people around you that you're kind of, you're, you're kind of on your own in a little, in a little um, bit of a way, right? Um, yeah, and that's, that, that really could be because of this kind of, these low moods, right, that the you're ultimately working through, but they're still kind of there. Um, but you're you're still kind of stepping out of that. You've got too much. There's too much sort of ambient inspiration right around you, and and you've got too much self love right now to really kind of let that take over, even though it's still there a little bit. Um, you're being kind of um, smart about it, which is good. And and you know, making yourself do things you don't want to do that you know are good for you kind of thing in a nutshell. So I'm going to pick these up and put some more cards down and come back with some advice of what you can do for this kind of uh, time. So I'll be right back. Okay, Pisces, I'm back with your advice. Okay, so... <laughs> um, oh, shoot! After I do that introduction, I always forget what the heck I'm going to say because I do re I read the cards before I turn the camera on and then I'm like, oh, what the heck did I see? So anyways... Let me look again. Um, oh yeah, okay. Keep doing what you're doing, right? Good job doing what you're doing on this, on this um, continuing to do things even though you don't, don't want to kind of thing, right? Um, keep doing that, but also continue to be specifically truthful with yourself about how much you are doing and, and make sure that, am I in the frame, I wonder? I don't know. Make sure that um, <laughs> make sure that if you if you are going to sort of indulge in your emotions a little bit or be going out and um, you know having having leisure time, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but that you that you are balancing it right, making sure that you're balancing it, and vice versa that you're also balancing your kind of work and that kind of thing with. Um, with a little bit of a little bit of relaxation time and stuff, but you want to make sure that you're doing both. You definitely don't want to like burn yourself out, wear yourself out, and, and make yourself crash, make yourself sick or something because you're ignoring yourself, your in intuition and your instincts and that kind of thing. Um, but you also don't want to just, as I said in the last reading that I did, kind of waste this time. You know, you want to stay active through this time, um, and so it's just definitely saying going go with your gut on that. Um, follow your instinct, follow your intuition, but be truthful about your actions. Um, and don't kind of tell lies to yourself, tell lies to other people in order to believe them yourself kind of thing about how much you are doing, right? Saying that you're doing more than you're really doing or that kind of thing. You want to really actually follow through and not just kind of talk about it because you know you should be doing it, you know what I mean? And talk about how you are doing it when you're not really doing it kind of thing. Um, 
<sighs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see, was that everything? I think that might have been everything. Yeah, you don't want to, you definitely don't want to nurture too much your, um, your low emotions, right? Of course. But you can do things to kind of was make mm, soothe them over a little bit. You know what I mean? Like if you are feeling very lonely, certainly go out and, and seek some company and, and, and that kind of thing. Um, but don't just get fully into it. You know what I mean? You want to strike a balance, make sure that you're um, kind of coming back and forth and moving in and out and that kind of thing. Um, you don't want to just let, let these low moods take you over, right? And keep trying to remind you, yourself of that and realize that, that the reason that you should be being truthful with yourself about that kind of thing is because um, that will be the effect, right? The effect of talking about how, how much you're doing without actually doing it is going to just be, um, as I said in the last reading again, um, waking up a month or two from now and all of a sudden all that time has gone by and you haven't really done anything for yourself um, because you're feeding yourself these kind of exaggerations, half-truths and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, use, use your instinct, use your intuition, strike a balance, um, go ahead and, and do, you know, I, I'm feeling like even though this is such a low energy time, emotionally for you guys that it can be a very stimulating time as far as um, inspiration and things like that go, right? Um, coming from within your own emotions, coming from your environment and stuff. So you definitely want to play around, you definitely want to like be active and do things, um, but you want to make sure that it's a variety of things and that you are, you are um, kind of breaking it up some, right? Um, so yeah, I hope this was helpful. Let me know if it was, and yeah, I will see you another time. Thank you for watching. Bye.